Grand Rising, wonderful souls, and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove. Hello to my new faces, lovely to see you, and welcome, welcome to my old faces. Let's get straight into it. You have somebody who um, has been lying about sleeping with you, and that's what one of the that's the download that came through. Okay, you have somebody who um, is quite disillusioned in how they build a fantasy and they will they will tell this lie so much that it expands and expands and expands and it becomes the truth to them but yeah look you got the four of swords coming out again okay this person wanted you um kind of uh isolated moved away from your your prospective partner if you have one or just kind of not having much uh hope in the dating scene they were hoping that they could kind of come in and uh sweep you off your feet uh, this person also though has been doing it for monetary gain um saying that you are a certain way when you're not yeah look at this you know this person look there you go symbolizes a person um adept to, at perceiving the the unknown this person likes to spread lies they get money for doing so now is this a male or female male or female i had both 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 yeah this these people built their castle on um lies on at your expense okay and the thing is i look over here at the green blue and the purple this is all about how um they slandered your name so if you have a presence, if you have a public platform, and even if you don't, and you just have a presence in the field that you do, it's coming out again. This was all to do with um, your, uh, what's the word? Your stability, how you're seen by others. Look, you've got new plans, wishes, fortitude. This seven of swords was all about deceit. And look at this page of cups. Now someone wants to come in with some sort of offer to help you out because of what they've done has gone awry. What they've done is coming out. And I heard viral. Why does that one want to come out? It's going viral. Look. What they've done is it's going viral and it's going to be the end of, I heard, their business and their empire. Okay somebody prides themselves on being able to bring down other people they pride themselves on being that powerful but whatever it was that they've been doing and look dispute over a dispute or real over woman this is third party energy there's somebody coming in who's now realizing that you didn't do anything you, you've just been living your your best life and this person wants to come in but it's all trickery it's all a deception this person's going to come in but going to make out like you know um it's almost like they're smoothing over their errors without actually taking accountability but they want to make sure that you're on their good side somebody wants um and i heard good d <laughs> somebody wants um you they want you they want to have sex with you okay and they'll do anything to lie to get into your pants is what i heard i'm sorry if, if that sounds crude but that's what was said ah you've got this this knight of swords um again is i, th I feel like this person is realizing whatever they did to you and i heard spell work that they had the wall pulled over their eyes but also they're now realizing that they have to give you something it's definitely the day they're coming over as you know and this person is actually um and that is crazy because in my last video and i don't know which one's going to upload first i said there was a white dude that wore a cape and had a beard this is the guy that you need to watch out for this guy is coming forward with a hand of apology but it's lies this guy wants to sleep with you but it's not just because he wants to sleep with you because he thinks you've got a banging body or something like that it's because he's got something and he wants to pass it to you and he's sick on this realm in this in this body he's very unwell he doesn't look it because he hides it very well and i heard glamour spell but also he has attachments he has attachments and this is a fatherly person so this person may already have a child he does have a child he has a child with somebody else um seven of wands 
this person is now very, very anxious over the spell work that didn't work and realising that um, he's actually no match for you. But he's also really, really panicking because there's forgery. Why did I hear forgery? Why did I hear forgery? And I heard bank and bills. Why did I hear forgery? Why did I hear forgery? Let's have a look. Wow. Well, the reason why I heard forgery is because whatever it is that they've been doing that has kept the, um, you know, this world card upright for them, it's coming out. And I heard quartz and I saw a pair of glasses. And again, look, this guy's been studying you. This guy has been obsessively following, excuse me, really burpy. Um, sorry about that. But he's been, he's been studying you for a very, very long time. He... He wants to work with you. It's like this This guy is really distorted. He not only wants you to heal him and he wants to pass this to you so that you are sick. He also wants to work with you because he knows your bloodline and he now understands that you have, and I heard generational wealth coming towards you and you've got the page of wands. But this person is very, very immature. This person, he, he without being crude, you can't keep his dick in his pants. It's like, this is almost like a punishment for him. And he's got a gift for you. And I keep hearing a baby. He wants to give you a baby. Um, look, judgment. He feels like if he can get with you, if he can get you pregnant, if he can give you this child, because there is a child that's prof prof prophesized for you, that if he's the one to give it to you, that he's in your bloodline then, isn't he? Yeah. This, this person has been working to learn about your ancestors. And look, you've got practical knowledge right there. This business, business acumen. He knows you guys have got money coming in. And he thinks that if he can get in there, that his karma will be less. Tell me more. Tell me more about business acumen. I've been told to say no, the child. Tell me more about this child. Tell me more about this child, please and thank you. There you go. Let's have a look. This is something that I feel like he's been trying to um, keep in the dark. Because like the plans, if you look at my last video, it talks about strategy. And this makes sense. He's strategizing a way to come forward, but he is up at night. He's up at night stressed about this. He argues a lot with the person that he is with, but he's moved away from. It's almost like they still live in the same they still live in the same home, but in different bedrooms. Um, and I heard divorce as well, because he's no longer in your energy field. He can't feed from you anymore. This person, whatever spell work they were doing, it's backfired. The last spell that they did made him extremely, extremely ill, more than he already was. Um, and he was unaware of this. And he thought that you were unaware of all the stuff that's been happening. But he's now aware and he is worried. Not only is he worried that his time is ticking on this planet, on this world. Because look, suffering, sleeplessness, worry, despair, anxiety over a loved one. He is completely and utterly obsessed by you. And it's more the idea of you than anything else. Because if you guys did know this person, he knows the idea of you from then. And what he sees on social media, he doesn't know you anymore. But yeah, this person's broke. This person may have been a CEO, look, loss of job. Emotional confusion causes monetary problems. This person can't see straight anymore. He can only see you. He may have been using runes runes to try and um, affect your um, your health, your home, your, you know, your love status, whether you're in a relationship or single. He was doing the most, the most to get back, get that hook back into you. But it's almost like he signed his own death wish. Like the the um the funeral's been paid for, all their wait now the Grim Reaper's just waiting for him to come over and drop into the hole, so to speak. Um we've got on the back two of swords. This person was trying to put indecision into your um heart chakra, your your heart, your sacral, your solar plexus, and your crown chakra, because those places um, are the places that you perceive success are the places that you succeed you know love and worthiness and joy and how you connect to the divine he was also doing a lot of root work on you and it was all, all to kind of imbalance you so you didn't know whether you should be in your south node or your north um the thing is though what's happened is that it's happened to him instead it's just happened to him instead and i've been told to change decks yeah he was trying the most 
trying the most and sleeping with a lot of people a, a lot of people right well let's see now that's very messy what kind of energy is that what do you want me to take mm. let's see what do the collective need to know oh what do the collective need to know this one let's have a look and you've got youtube who's watching you uh -huh. who is watching you let me look on that one archangel metatron angel justice balance courts metatron's cube christ Crid, central sun your words you are so divinely protected my collective earth angels you're so protected and what was i saying they tried please look at my last video he tried the most he tried the most to get into your energy field but you have some sort of protection on your energy field and on your energy like portal so like on your chakras oh, should i take this out? i've been told not to take that one out you are highly highly protected you've also got instagram underneath there who follows you you need to look at your social media and go through a list and just see who these people are now this person did something in may so this was either may just gone or may last year and i heard last year for some of you what else and june why is june coming out may june and underneath is july all right so something that you did this month Ooh, something that you did this month and i heard some sort of hex or curse was put on your youtube channel if you have one a hex or um yeah because look you've got 20 foot aura and underneath that x your ex bestie so in may whatever this guy did that wanted to come and give you this apology or give you whatever he's carrying in may he watched something of yours on youtube maybe and um either that that kind of got the ball rolling for him to start moving towards you and he's tried but whatever you have been doing it's it's blocked him and your aura is expanding it's expanding big time because underneath that i've got the mirror broke you need to watch the last video seriously because there's mirror magic in play but it went awry and your ex-best friend she's involved oh wow and so is jesus Woo! so is this ascendant master he is also part of this okay and underneath i haven't even picked these up yet geez underneath you've got this this one i did without any writing on this because you have somebody um and i feel like this is the um either the ex-partner or like the estranged partner tarot reader she's a tarot reader she takes a lot of selfies um there's a lot of kind of preachy energy from her a lot of preachy energy but and i had live in the high life and let's see what we have over here what goodies do we have over here give me oh lost soul this is the thing as well is that we've got to look at the bigger picture these people whether they're you know mentally unwell whether they've got demons on their backs when you strip it down these people are lost souls they are lost souls and the lesson for us in this is not everyone look it says here not everyone knows why they are attracted to your light you don't know if they're coming forward because they want to be healed or because they want to steal it and not everybody knows that um, healing means expansion you know and this person coming forward for you he is either so unaware of it or he doesn't care and the last part on there is that it is not your job to fix everyone. We, you know, we have to have our boundaries. We have to have our boundaries because some people, and I mean, I was like that, you know, it was just love and light and turn the other cheek. It's fine if they send this stuff, I'll just send them love. But at some point you've got to step up and, and talk to your ancestors and be like, ancestors, go and kick their butts for me. I'm not taking this. You wouldn't take, let's say workplace bullying if you worked in an office. You wouldn't take bullying if you were in a school. So why on earth should we take spiritual bullying? Because this is more or less what it is. And look, continue to stand in your sovereign light. You are divinely and completely protected. From identity theft. Someone has been pretending to be you. And I don't think it was this guy. I think it was their partner. Whoever the partner was, and I had a massive yes in January. January, and I had January 2020. January, February march there's more isn't there 
April, and then you've got May, June. I had investigation. So you had somebody for spanning, what was that? Six months, five months? Yeah, spanning about six months that went on some sort of shopping spree and it was the partner of this, this guy who was spending your money, who was, and I heard deviant acts. Why did I hear deviant acts? Which one do you want me to take? Which one? This one? This one. Deviant acts. Why did I hear deviant acts? Pisces. She could be a Pisces. You could be a Pisces. Deviant acts. This person, there was some sort of sex magic done. And it was done to... to and I had alt, alter the course of your path or your actions back in January, from January for six months, they did something. It's so that you would miss opportunities. You would miss opportunities, you would miss gifts, you would miss, yeah, so you could go on the wrong path. Okay, how does that affect them now? Does that, does that affect them? I heard no, it doesn't, but still, let's see what wants to come out. They did it, it put obstacles in. It put obstacles that didn't need to be there. You may have had to move house. Look, they sent, um, Oh, they they sent some sort of death spells as well, and they they did try the most with your health, and I and some of my older videos talk about how because you guys are so protected when they send stuff like this, if you're unaware of it and it's not sent back, it's kind of like bounced off and it will connect to the nearest person to you that is your loved one, um, because we have we have these etheric cords, we have these etheric energetic ties, and you have them to everybody. You have them throughout your life, all the way back through the past into memories. You know, if you were 10 years old and you went for, you know, a play date, with a friend that you now have no idea where that person is, where they live, blah, blah, blah. You still have an etheric cord to them. It may be tiny. So when it comes to things like this, when they're sending spell casting and incantations and death spells and blah, 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 blah. If you're not aware of it and you don't send that back, but it's rebounded off of you anyway, because you're, you know, you have a 20 foot aura, you know, um, shield around you it's going to bounce onto the nearest person that you are most connected to so that could have been a loved one that could have been your granddad that could have been your partner that could have been your dog do you know what i mean um so if you have had any like if you look back in you know january up until june if you had deaths in the family or you had just like a run of really ill luck or ill health or you know someone that you loved had lots of ill health now you know why and i'm really sorry about that there may have been you having to move home quite a lot um so for about that six months that's what they've been doing and the fox it was also to do with your inner child and kind of taking away any of your joy you may have gone through a dark night of the soul around that time and the thing is as well is that dark nights of the soul what these karmics don't realise, because they sit in them for so long, they sit in dark nights of the soul without realising um, what's happening, and that's why they don't ascend when they come out, they literally don't ascend, they just sit inside that trigger, but I feel like you guys went through a dark night of the soul, you may have had some sort of epiphany, some sort of ascension, some sort of up leveling gifts maybe around that time from January to, to June 2020. I mean, the pandemic did hit for the UK about, um, I think it was March 2020. So I don't know if that resonates for anyone. Feels like you've got anchor as well. It was about your root chakra. They've definitely been doing the most with the, the root chakra and sending death spells these people it was to stop you from unlocking information about your ancestors about your bloodline about where you come from oh god this is a this is a very heavy reading isn't it yeah they put loads of blocks in loads of blocks okay so what karma are they getting right now let's get a little bit on what their karma is what's the karma for this distorted male coming forward yeah 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 okay you want to speak loud what else okay i've been told to stop yeah i know you're going to just throw the whole deck at me <laughs> and that one's still at the bottom obstacles obstacles after obstacles after obstacles i mean you look at these two just on this on themselves this person is losing um i'm hearing they're losing clients they can't compete 
and I heard bad investment as well. This one, up or down? Flip it. The wheel is it's rolling away from them. The money. Wow. Okay. So there was an opportunity for this guy over here to work with somebody. And that might even have been you. They may have had an opportunity to actually connect with you in an actual genuine way. A genuine way. And yeah. Look. Okay. They had an opportunity to work with you in a genuine way that wouldn't have been rejected, that actually would have been beneficial. And they're now knowing this. They're now knowing how genuine you are and how com compassionate you are and how that would have actually been really good for them. But they made a bad investment. And that bad investment has made it so that the will has turned away from them and will turn away from them for a very long time because I heard jail for some. Because look, you've got the justice card right here. They, they've got jail time. They've got jail time. This dude over here has got jail time. I heard either your sister or your brother has got jail time. There's jail time coming. This is serial. What else have we got? You free yourself everywhere. Okay, can I put these down? Oh, I've been told to hold them. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, this person, um, they're losing clients, whatever it is that they do in real time, like what they do for a job. And I heard some of them are accountants. They're losing their job. Some of them are being caught for embezzlement. Some of them have been stealing money from the companies that they work with. And, and oh, wow. <laughs> the other part of their karma is that they get to watch you blow up. They get to watch you become a celebrity. They get to watch you, and I had um, 2202 when I said that. They get to see you connect with your, with your, um, your. Well, I keep going to say karmic divine. No, 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 no. With your, the, the, the divine male counterpart that you're supposed to be with. They are, oh my gosh, and they cannot let go. They don't want to let go of you. They don't want to let go of you. They don't want to let go of you, and... They're going to have to watch you. And I heard some of them are going to have to watch from prison bars. Others are going to be watching from coffins. That is serious. Whoa. And there is something. Something's going to go. Oh, wow. Something's going to go viral about a family tie. Because with this being upside down. Because this is usually about, you know, going on to karma, karma pastures. Maybe holding on to a little bit of baggage, which is fine because it takes time to heal. But whenever I see orange, I always think of the sacral chakra, family, success, stuff like that. With it being this way. There's something that they've been trying to keep hidden for a very, very long time. And you have, um, with this card here, it's going viral. So there's a mixture because it's not just this guy who's coming forward who's going to get his karma. It's not just him. It's going to be um, you have somebody in your like direct family with, and it's a sibling and I heard also a cousin. They're going to go viral and I, they're going to go to jail. And I heard somebody's got VD. Who's got VD? Ew. Okay, let's see. Let's see. And I heard all of them. Put them all down. All of them. Okay, let's put them all down. Yeah, because now they've got an, a bad investment and I heard demonic attached to their back. What would you like me to take out? This one over here. Let's have a look. You're the best thing to you're the best thing to ever happen to you. Go easy on your A. Buy your own damn drink. Okay, who's this for? And I heard karmic female. All right, let me shuffle this. A karma. Oh, winning. <laughs> I love it. You got a good thing going. Don't, don't win that ish. Now, do you know what I heard, though? When I was reading that, I heard it in a Jamaican accent. You got a good thing going. Don't win that ish. This person, so that makes sense, especially with that buy your own, you know, darn drink. You are the best thing to ever have. You've got somebody who's a sugar daddy. And I heard this person, something to do with this accountant. 
and I can see like either is it a Rasta or somebody wearing like a um one of those massive hats for dreads um it's dark and you can't see an effing thing get your head out of your bum pronto your guides are keeping i think your guide this is like a message that your guides are keeping you in the dark about certain things spirit is keeping you in the dark about certain things because you have somebody who is like astrally projecting so they can you know do a bit of voyeurism so they can watch what you're doing but not they're trying to get into your your mind now they may not be able to do that and for some they may be getting a sneak peek but there's a reason why you aren't being given all the answers straight away there's a jamaican person here i don't know if you are jamaican if your ancestors are jamaican um if you have somebody who's a comic who is jamaican um and it says step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second kale and spirulina taste like butt um and it also says here eat some yummy ish bacon chocolate a beer get some now remember um was it in this reading or the last one it may have been in my last one there have been some um mirror magic to kind of take you away from your healthy eating from um you know the healthy routines that you have and with it being upside down this is almost like saying um be aware of that be aware if you've been eating really well if you've been exercising if you've been taking care of yourself and look eat your effing vegetables <laughs> um eat some ish made by mother nature and it's upside down they are trying their most i don't know why i saw so so strongly that jamaican guy wearing the dread hat this person may be involved this person may be involved they are trying to now mess with your health how interesting why was i shown that show me more why was i shown that why was I showing that? Please and thank you. Stop talking. Okay. They want you to be distracted. Oh, they want you to be distracted, but you're being told by your guides to start listening to your intuition more. Start following the synchronicities, please and thank you, you guys. And I keep hearing that song. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. Is this linked to the guy that's coming forward? And I heard yes. This person over here is either working with your family on this or he slept with a family member. Now is not the effing time. Whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Okay? So this is also talking about listening to your, your triggers and knowing that they are triggers. And for him as well, this is almost like advice for him. Whatever you're thinking of doing in coming forward, just don't do it. It's like you're signing your death warrant. Winning. Again, you've got a good thing going. Don't win that ish. There's something. Oh, don't win that ish. Don't ruin it. For some reason, I saw like this Jamaican dude, just like in my mind's eye, standing outside a betting shop. So I don't know if that resonates. I don't know if that's going to be for all. Where is that? Where the F is your sense of humour? Laugh. I feel like this person gaslights and then says it's a joke. How interesting. You look like an ish show. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. Yeah, this person doesn't like women at all. Doesn't like women. You're being, yeah, you're being shady. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to keep this. This was. This is going to be a little shorter than the other one because I didn't realise how long I'd gone on for. For some reason, I've been called to take this one really quickly. But look, no matter what's coming forward, you're still getting the blessings that you deserve. You're still getting the blessings that you deserve. And I keep hearing insomnia. You may get a lot of vivid downloads. And I want you guys to get like a pen and paper. And keep it by your bed because you are going to be getting and i heard a family recipe all right however whoever it is that's coming forward they are going to offer you money or they're going to offer you like an a love offer or something like this it's deceitful know that it's deceitful it's going to look like it will open up doors to you but you don't need to take that but please use your discernment yeah look it's to stop you in your tracks it's definitely to stop you in your tracks i mean look at the look at the, the face of that rat thinking that we don't know what you're up to anything that is needed just before 
I go? What does the collective need to know? What do they need to know? Okay. It's definitely to bring bal imbalance. They're trying to imbalance you. Okay. Why did you show me the two of pentacles? Why the two of pentacles? So this woman, this woman that's attached to um, whoever it is that's coming forward is still trying. She's still trying. And with that bird there, she may work with a deity um, that works with, with animals. So it could be Hecate. For some reason, I keep getting Hecate or Lilith. Hecate or Lilith what else yeah this is to do with uh bringing in abundance this person wants reconciliation without a doubt so this is what he's going to be telling you he's going to tell you what she's been doing to your abundance and kind of make it so that he had nothing to do with it but this is kind of just regurgitating anything else that the collective needs to know and i heard your baby is safe i don't know if that rings a bell for anyone and i'm seeing like a pink bicycle like a kid's pink bicycle i don't know if someone's child was hit by a car um because look i've got the um the three of swords here okay that's about heartbreak and upset maybe for some of you you're going to find out who it was who did that because it may have seemed like it may have been a hit and run for some of you but look yeah Whatever it is that this guy comes forward and tells you, it may be like, it might knock you off of, um, what's the word, you're centering for a second, because what they might tell you might be quite big, however, don't trust this person, no matter what it is, no matter if this guy comes forward and says, I know who it is that done that hit and run, or I know, you know, I know this, this and this, or I know who done blah, 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 it may feel like betrayal, but know that this person isn't coming in because they want to be the knight in shining armor. You need to be aware of that. Um, he's gonna. He wants a new beginning with you because he sees how balanced you are. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. I hope that gave you some clarity, some guidance, and and I hope it resonated for you. Um, and kind of just connected in what you already intuitively knew. If you are new and you liked what you heard and it resonated, I'd love for a like. I'd love for you to hit on the notification bell and on the subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you so much. Have a lovely, lovely Monday. I'll see you later. Bye.